Currency conversion. These type of questions appear very frequently in IB Mass Studies exam papers, either in paper one or paper two. Now I have a foolproof method of solving currency conversion questions via setting up a table. So I highly recommend uh, if you're uncomfortable with these type of questions, following my process and it comes out of the correct answer every time. So I'm going to walk you through that process using this example question on the right. So we have Jennifer traveling between Australia and Brazil. So we have straight away, I look at my currencies. It's involving Australian dollars and that's being transferred into Brazilian real. So the first step, step one, is label the currencies. Now step two is the exchange rate between those two currencies. In this example question, it is one Australian dollar receives 2.4903 Brazilian real. So step two, simply put the exchange rate. Now in most of the questions, the exchange rate will be given. Slightly more difficult questions, you're actually given the values, so the uh, amounts of money you both exchanged and then received, and you need to then go back and find the exchange rate. Those questions are a little bit rarer. However, this process will still work for those questions as well. Third step, the actual information that we know and what we're trying to find out. So in this case here, Jennifer exchanged 6,250. And we are unsure of the amount of real that she gets back. So I put, a, I put an unknown variable x there. This is what we want to find out. Now that I have this table set up, the beauty of this is we can just simply, for the x, solve for x by going, okay, I'm going to multiply the two numbers above and beside it. So in this case, 2.4903 multiplied by 6250 and then divide by the number diagonal. Now in this case here it's a 1 so we don't really need to do this however depending on the type of question sometimes the diagonal isn't 1 and the division is actually quite important. However I find that students often get confused whether or whether they should be multiplying or dividing for the currency conversion however if you set up if you set up a table like this and just remember to multiply the two numbers above and beside and then divide by the number diagonal. You cannot go wrong. It will work every single time. Okay, so that's a brief overview for currency conversion questions. I highly recommend using this knowledge and going and practicing some questions over in the question bank section.